a matte black eyeshadow for the eyebrows. I'm just going to fill them in sparsely. This doesn't need to be neat at all. The more bushier and natural looking, the better it will look. Then I am moving on to the Max Fluid Line Gel Liner in Black Track, which is the perfect gel liner for this look because it dries matte. And I'm just going to apply this to the eye to make this really smudgy effect. So I'm going down the sides of the nose and across my eyelid, but not all the way up to the brow. And then I'm just going on my lid as well and underneath my lower lash line. So once I have placed that down, I am then just going to wipe off the excess onto a towel and then start blending in the edges. So blend everything inwards and not outwards. And so you just want to make sure you smudge it all so that it's a really nice smudgy effect. You don't want perfect lines, you want to blend out the edges as nice as you can. Then I am moving on to a dark matte brown eyeshadow now and I'm going to add some more dimension to the eye so I'm just going to add this all over where we put the black gel liner. This just adds again more depth, dimension and more tones to the look. Now I'm taking a black pencil from Australis and I'm going to apply this to my waterline to knock out the skin tone colour. Now I'm going back to the MAC Fluid Line Gel Liner and I'm going to create some symbols on my forehead. From the pictures I can see she has three rows of these symbols. They don't have to be in any specific order, these are just random symbols that I've just made up on the spot. So I just want to do three rows of this all the way across my forehead. And then once you have done that, you want to take some translucent powder, this one's from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs, and just go over that and set it in place. And then for the cheeks, you want to do one row of them symbols, not three. So I'm just doing one row on each side. Now I'm taking a black face paint from Snazaroo and a stipple sponge. I'm going to add some texture and some dirt effect to the rest of my face. So wherever we have some more skin showing, I'm just going to apply this. This adds really great texture to the look. And now I'm taking a Snazaroo face paint in brown. And I'm going back over wherever we put the black face paint. Because I didn't like the black, it was looking too, too dark and muddy. So I'm going over it with brown, just to add more tones and more depth. But then I decided I didn't like it because it was too much in the centre of my face. So I'm taking a damp tissue to wipe off just from around my nose and the lower half of my face. And then just wipe the excess away. Now moving back to the matte shadow palette and I'm taking the dark brown again and I'm going to use this for my contour. So I'm going in the normal contour spot but I'm going to bring it down onto my chin and then blend it into my chin as well. Just so it's a straight down contour and it's not straight across like the normal contour. I want to bring it down my face more. And then I'm going back to the brown face paint from Snazaroo again and this time I'm going to apply this all over my neck and my shoulders and my chest. Wherever you want this to be visible you want to apply this and you don't want this to be one solid colour, you want this to be patchy but as long as you have most of the skin covered. Then I'm moving on to the black face paint again with a scrunched up tissue for texture. I'm going to apply this wherever we've just applied that brown face paint again for more depth and more tones and this just looks really good at the end effect. Then I'm going back again to the dark brown and the black eyeshadows together this time and I'm just going to powder the whole over the face paint so the brown and the black where we put them. I'm just going to basically powder this all over, it adds a really nice smoky tone and it just blends out the face paint. Then I'm going in with a straight black eyeshadow and I'm going to contour my cleavage just so it's a bit more protruding and it pops out more because in the movie she has quite protruding ones. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some more depth to them. 
and then I'm taking a bright green face paint from Snazaroo and this time I'm going to create the necklace collar so I'm going across my neck and I'm going pretty low down onto my chest to create this really large bead necklace thing that she wears so I'm going to apply this green all over and I'm not just going to stop at green because the green will add a really nice depth to this for the tone I'm going over it with the brown face paint from Snazaroo. I think that this looks really good with brown on top. It just gives it a really nice colour. I didn't like the green as it was because it was just too, too green. But with the brown on top, it makes a perfect shade. Then going back to green, and now I'm going to create the medallion at the end of the necklace. So I'm just doing a rounded circle, and then I'm doing a semi-circle in the middle as well. And then just fill that in with the green. And again, going back over that with the brown face paint, just for more tones. Again, going back over that with the brown face paint, and then I'm going back with the black face paint again. And now I'm going to start creating the lines in the choker. You want about roughly four to five rows. If you can get five like she has, that'd be perfect. I think I ended up with four rows. But you just want to make sure that you outline it at the end of the line is nice and squiggly and not straight. Now I'm going to create the rounded beads in the choker on each row and then fill it in all the gaps in the middle with the black. And then I'm taking the dark brown eyeshadow again and I'm going to shade this on the inside of the lower medallion just to add some more depth to it because it was looking a bit flat. So I'm going in with that and I'm just going to shade that. And I'm going to add some of that brown to the beads as well. And now I'm taking the black eyeshadow again. And now I'm going to shade on the outside of the medallion just to add some more depth. And now I'm going to the Eye Magic Flash palette and I'm taking the metallic key silver colour. And I'm going to apply this to one side of the beads and down on the medallion as well. Going back to the black face paint, I'm going to create some symbols on my shoulders. I'm just going to create the lines first and then start blending out the edges with the brush. Then I'm taking a black long wig and I'm going to apply this to my head. You don't want this to be too neat, you want this to be messy. Taking a part of the hair out the front and then taking some hair gel and just smoothing the hair gel in the hair. Once you've smoothed it all down, you can then take tiny sections of hair so it's not one big chunk. And now I'm taking this crescent moon that I made from cardboard, just cut it out and then I painted it with silver and black nail polish with a sponge and stippled it all across. I'm just going to secure this with a bobby pin and you are done.